Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today in this video, uh, we're gonna talk about localization. So, uh, scenario is that you want uh, to create an app and you want to support multi languages. Uh, but to doing that, you know that there is a lot of element inside your app need to be changed. So, Swift UI come up with uh, framework by the name of localization that help you to support this as easy as possible so in this video we are gonna go over this and find out how easy we can do this okay so uh, let's go to our Xcode and create a new project so file new project So this project, yes, it's going to be an app and I name it Swift UI localization 01 and interface Swift UI language Swift. I don't need core in, uh, you know, test for now. So I'll go for uh, creating. I check my GitHub because I want to uh push it in uh, github for you guys to have a source for that okay so yeah uh, it's gonna create a hello world for us so what i do uh, my, for my hello world i just make a couple more line here so i just say hello world Hello Swift. Hello localization and hello multi languages. So I want to do this. Okay, so I'll do this and run this. It's gonna uh, bring this up over oh, uh, I want to put my output in one iPhone 8 plus to get as many more as uh, memory I need uh, okay so it's gonna work mm, uh, to support this uh, you know to make it possible to support multi-language what we need to do we will come up uh, with uh you know until this gonna um, compile it i'm gonna make my uh you know directories utilities inside utility i just create a new group localization and inside this I create a file so this file uh, should be a, a string so yeah a string file so you will select a string uh, you know a string file it's gonna create okay so I uh, just name it localize adult for example and I'm gonna create this it's gonna create a file uh, this file name is localizable dot string okay now uh, so I do this and then uh, let me see if I uh, yeah it's wrong so you see hello world hello Swift, hello localization hello multi languages okay so uh, I'll come back to my this file and I need to localize this so I tap on localize it has English I want to add another language as well so I'll go to my project and select project in project and here I have a localization in the uh, Lohman target info tab uh, here I can add my languages so I'm gonna add the French 
and here it says the select the file and I select it so then I have it here okay so now when I, if I go to my localization you will see you have French here as well if you don't want to support you just uncheck mark it and then gonna remove it but uh, I am not gonna remove it because I want to have uh, two language so now if you go through this file you will see that you have you will have uh, you know it's gonna be a directory of files so you have English and uh, French version as well so what I'm gonna do uh, so uh, let me come back to my this portion actually in my content view and here I had this so if I want to make this uh, you know in a way that's look my localization pick this up I'm, I'm gonna make it like a key so I just say hello for example like this hello you know let me let me make it hello one hello two and hello three yeah, to give you much better idea then you can so hello one hello two hello three and hello four so if I run this now yeah you will see that uh, I will have this hello word, hello to hello Swift and whatever okay so uh, I come back here in my localization and just say hello one equal hello word. okay then I'm gonna make a copy of this for hello 2 hello 3 hello 4 and make it hello Swift hello localization and hello what was the last one multi language multi language okay now if I run it I should see twice hello world and hello uh, you know Swift and whatever yeah I got an error So this said uh, it's not valid uh, formats. Yes, uh, I forgot to put this semicolons here. Also, uh, I need to make some something for French as well. So I should come here in my French one. Gonna be empty. So here I put, uh, you know, so hello in French it's gonna be Bunju so all hello gonna be Bunju Swift and the localization in French and multi-language I believe it's going to be multi 
something like this Let, let's review what we did we make a localization file for english and french in english we say hello one equal this hello two equal this and for french we just say as a equivalence for that but uh, when i put it here it did not pick that up so to guarantee that uh, make sure that it's it will pick this up what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this inside function localize string key and inside that I'm gonna put it inside this function instance method uh, require that localize they conform to this one so uh, if you want to call it here is that it's kind of something like that so okay so I'm gonna pull this out and uh, put it here okay so inside my text i'm gonna call this so let me do this for others as well but for the last one i'm gonna do something different i'm not gonna use that function okay and uh, yeah let's see what's the result so i'm gonna stop this rerun it and then wait for the results so review we made a localizable string file and we made our function to be supporting two language and here you will see even this one the last one that even i didn't use this replaced so this is how localization work so uh but you will see this is french language uh, uh, how come it's uh, replaced that to french in my outputs this is the good question it should be english let me go to my settings probably my settings language is in french yes it is french that's why it's already picked that up so let me uh, change uh, my language to english so i'm gonna say my language region gonna be English so the French go back to English so now if I go to my language you will see that it is uh, picked up everything from English Yeah, you will see it is English. So now uh, our app is totally depend of the environment. Actually, my our iOS uh, language. If it's French, gonna go by French. If it's English, gonna go by English. And how we do that? We use this uh, file to find uh, you know which word you want to replace with which other word and uh, the only uh, things uh, i want to add is that you will see even if i don't use the localization uh, localize the string it's gonna find it and replace it but uh, i uh, want you to double check always sometimes it's uh, not gonna pick up for example if here i just say hello uh, for test and rerun this Mm, uh, maybe not working so 
until this running uh, i just say thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video if you like it please uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up and to be subscribed for other videos actually in the next video i'm gonna say how you can change this inside your app so you want to use localization which is cool uh, but you want to make decision inside your app not by operating system yes here you go it then changes so sometimes it's not working so it's better to use localization string but if you don't double check thank you for watching with this video have a good one bye